Hello, Cancer, my darlings, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I am here to do your daily reading. This reading is for the collective, so it may not be for all of you, okay? Just take what resonates, Cancer, leave the rest behind. Um, and thank you so much, everyone, for everything, everything, Cancer. Thank you for all of the support, the likes, the subscribes, the nicknames. <laughs> Uh, the comments, right? Um, and everybody new here. Hi, I'm Becca. All right, so Cancer, listen. <laughs> These are your oracles, but it's really straightforward. There's a masculine who literally cannot stop thinking about you. Um, you live rent-free in this person's head, I'm telling you. Um, but they're, they're kind, they've been acting like a, a child okay they've been very immature about this um uh, this is a masculine who has been stubborn not wanting to do the right thing they are waiting you out okay but it's reached the point where and look at they're gonna be calling you cancer okay but they don't look real happy about it all right um, so I feel like this person is about to approach you or give you some kind of phone call um, but they're coming at you the same way that they did before. You're going to see that there's been no change in this person at all, all right? Um, I'm getting the sense, too, that they've been losing a lot of sleep over you here, Cancer, with the bags under their eyes. Um, and this could be like... I'm getting the sense, too, Cancer, that they're hearing things about you from other people and you're doing really well you're very abundant you're focused on yourself you know you're happy you're like i'm good right i've got my shmoney i'm making bank i'm working really hard i'm growing my abundance i'm i'm on my own here but i am good right um and i feel like uh whatever they're hearing about you it's it's like a time of celebration for you but they don't seem real happy they're like woo woo yay for cancer you know um they're a bit jealous and angry i'm getting that they're angry maybe over something that they're hearing about you right all of your abundance and your glow up you're you're just doing really good out here you got a twinkle in your eye <laughs> you know um i feel like maybe you've made some major accomplishment here or your blessings are coming in and you're just happy you're in a really stable confident happy energy right now all right and when this person comes towards you because i feel like they are um you're gonna tell this person you know what i'm all good i'm fine i'm good i'm good all on my own and you need to go and take a look at yourself because you're come you're approaching me like a fool okay um but yeah so this person's hearing things about you cancer they're really upset uh, they, you know they're they're pretending to be happy for you but they're not um they're actually acting like a little kid who didn't get their way right and when they approach you when they call you cancer um they're coming at you the same way that they did before okay and you're i feel like you're going to turn this person down i really do yeah look with the yeah you're like i'm out of here yeah um, you're going to be cutting this person off, maybe even speaking your truth, okay? You're holding up this sword. I'm seeing you as the queen of swords. Like, It's almost like you're saying in this picture, I know you stuck this sword in my back, right? You stuck the sword in my back, but I've become a warrior. I've transformed my life. Um, I, I fought for myself. I didn't give up on myself. And now look at this sword. Thank you very much for the lessons you've taught me. Okay? Thank you very much. This is also um, Joan of Arc here. So you're a messenger. You could even be in the public eye. You, you've been led um, by the divine here through your healing into your abundance. And now it's like... Um, I, I feel like you're carrying a rose here, but it almost feels like um, a relay race. Have you ever, um, you know, it's almost like they, they may have given you heartache cancer, but you took that heartache like a champ and you turned it into power for yourself, okay? You turned the pain that they gave you with the sword into power for yourself. And now... I feel like you're running with it. Okay, you're having a brand new beginning. You're really happy. Look at all this yellow. 
Um, yeah, you don't need this person anymore. I feel like you see this person as a page, you know, um, and they're coming at you like in this empress energy. I mean, you're in this empress energy. So yeah, Cancer, you're just, you're having a new beginning. Um, you're, it's almost like you're thanking them for the lessons. Okay. Look at where you're, look at where the pain you caused me brought me to in this journey. Okay. Um, and you don't need this person anymore. And you're going to, if they, if they approach you, which I feel like they are here. Okay. You're going to see this person is still needing to do a lot of work. You, I, you may, yeah. And it's like, they're stunned. Look at how stunned they are. They're like, what? You don't want me back anymore? No, Cancer, I feel like you don't want this person back anymore, okay? I, I'm, I'm getting the sense that you're just going to leave this person stunned. They're already stunned by how, how much you're winning out here. And you may even tell them, thank you for the pain that you gave me. Because it's, it's really pole vaulted me into this abundant um, empress energy. So thank you, right? Chariot, I'll be moving on now. I'll be taking these lessons with me. I'm happy. I'm, I'm all good. I'm abundant. I'm independent. I don't need anybody in this energy. I'm both emperor and empress here. Yeah. Cancer, you are feeling so strong, stronger than you've ever been before. Um, yeah, landing on two feet. This person may have brought you down with this sword, okay? I feel like when they put this sword in your back, Cancer, it was probably the worst pain you've ever felt in your life. Okay? And they just left you there to bleed out on your own. But, um, but you're a warrior, okay? This is being a warrior here. Um, this is being a warrior, okay? Um, and very tapped into the divine. You're very balanced now in your, in your emotions, you know. Um, you were heartbroken, I mean, in, a, in probably the worst way you've ever felt before, okay? But now you're very balanced. You're over this person. You're over it. And it's leaving this person like, wait, wait, what? Because I feel like... This person thought that they could play this out, sit it out for as long as they could, and maybe you would come chasing after them, and you're not. You never did. You focused on yourself. When they hurt you, you got back up, and you fought for yourself like a warrior, and um, you got through it all, okay? You got through this journey with flying colors, and you're healing, right? Um, and now... Um, yeah, you're, you're re coming in really strong, Cancer. Heavy warrior energy here. Emperor and Empress energy. Um, yeah, you definitely don't need this person anymore. Look at, I feel like you're the Emperor here. And this King of Wands energy, they're going to be, they're going to be fuming over this. I feel like they're going to feel, yeah, look, huh? Um, they're going to feel like they just, look at how he's standing here, like, wait a minute, I'm the one who's supposed to be hurting you. Um, I'm the one who is, you know, you should be falling apart over me. And Cancer's like, no, I'm the one holding the sword. No, <laughs> that's not happening. I also feel like, Cancer, you really cause like a hurricane in this person's life when you leave them behind and cut them out and that energetically that's what you're doing and i feel like when this person approaches you to talk to you that's what you're going to tell them too i'm i'm over you i'm done i don't want you back yeah see they wanted to be in this kind of energy right like i'm you know like they uh they want to see you hurt over them but you're just not and they're going to be standing here like a dope <laughs> You know, stunned. That's this stunned feeling. Okay? They're going to have to put their sword down, Cancer. And they're going to be kind of fuming over this, but they're going to be watching this connection burn. And there's not going to be anything that they can do about it because you don't feel the same way about them anymore. And this person's all, all, already shown you their true colors when they stabbed you in the back, left you, and played this silly little game. 
Okay, so yeah, it's it's almost like they have to turn away from you, Cancer, but they're going to be very upset. Okay, this person's going to be like burning over this. All right, but yeah, you, it's almost like you tell them the truth. You tell them you're good. You're moving on. They need to take a look at themselves in the mirror and do their inner work. And you, you, it's almost like you give them this tower and you just watch it burn and smile as you walk away, leaving them absolutely stunned. Yeah, you're taking control back of your own life. Okay, Queen of Wands energy. You're feisty, fiery, spunky. Um, and you're not going to be messed with anymore. You, you have been dragged through a battle here. Um, but you're coming out of it with all of this beautiful, yellow, vibrant energy, okay? You feel really good. This is the shift, by the way. This is the shift that we've been talking about. And if you haven't reached this um, excited, enthusiastic energy, um, you're about to. Okay, we're all going to go through this shift. And it's going to feel so good, Cancer. I, I'm telling you, I'll explain how I felt. I felt the shift within myself. Now, the shift isn't something that's happening in, in your environment. It's happening within you. Okay? And I, um, what, it was like four days ago or something. Um, I was just doing my thing. Um, oh, yeah, I took, I went to a movie. The Divine and I went to a movie, and I, I was supposed to be working that night, and the Divine is like, no, let's go to a movie. So we went to a movie, I watched the movie, and I wanted to leave halfway through it. I don't know why, I just did, but the Divine wouldn't let me. They said, no, just sit here and finish the movie, it's okay. So by the time I, the movie was over and I walked out the door, I, I literally, I'll remember this forever, I stepped outside of this movie theater and everything just like that. It just switched, okay? And I felt like there were no cares in the world for me anymore. Um, there were no more worries, no more fear, okay? Um, and... I just felt really good about my future. Um, you know, we're releasing the old pains here with this shift. And that's what it was. It was just like I left all of all of that, um, the fear, the worries, the, the hurt, the memories from the past. I left it in the theater. <laughs> I did. I left it in the theater. When I passed through the exit door, it's almost like I was completely cleansed. I don't know how else to describe it. And I feel like that's what you're going through right here, right here in this reading is your shift, okay? Where all of those, all the pains, all the horrible memories, the feeling that you didn't get your justice, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be wiped clean, Cancer. And you're going to instantly be focused on all the awesome things that are coming in for you. And you're going to be so thankful, Okay, so grateful. Man, I tell you what, I came home that night and I was just nothing but smiles, Cancer, okay? Um, so yeah, that's what's going to happen with you. And as you, look at this, as you shift into that energy within, within you, this is how your person feels. That's the shift. You, uh, you instantly just release it. I don't know what else to say. You just instantly release it. And it's not something that I can tell you how it's done. I have no idea how the divine did it. But I know they completely washed me clean of everything the second I stepped through that doorway. Okay? But, but when that happens, the moment it happens, your person feels it. Okay, and they, the shift with them is they go from this ego to an ego death that they'll never forget. And it's like within an instant. You, they're not going to see this coming. Okay? Neither are you, really. You're not going to you're not going to know you're about to be shifted, okay? <laughs> I'm going to say shifted because I owe it all to the divine. I feel like they just completely um so it, it almost feels like a baptism, okay? Um they they completely wash you clean. Um, it's, it feels like an anointing, all right? 
um, but your person, they instantly feel the pain. The same kind of pain that they put you through, now they're going to feel, okay? But the, the issue with them is, see, I feel like with you, it was, it was pretty much them sticking a sword in your back. But the issue with them is they're going to know it's all their fault for everything that they've done to you, okay? And that's the kind of pain that, you know, our pain was a little bit different, you know. I feel like we had to look within ourselves, Cancer, but really I feel like it, it was this person who hurt you and treated you miserably. They completely wronged you. They gave you that pain. They gave you this sword, all right? You're not doing anything wrong to this person. The pain that they feel is all on them. It's all on them, Cancer, because they kept wanting to make you hurt okay so they're feeling a deeper pain and they've got no one to blame but themselves and they're going to know it and that's going to make this person look at themselves okay so not only in this reading are you experiencing this this major beautiful shift i can't even describe it to you it feels so good it literally feels like you've been baptized and cleansed okay but this person, they have to take a look at themselves. This is when they go down that rabbit hole, Cancer. Okay, they're going to have to go down the rabbit hole and learn about themselves and learn a lesson from this. You know, because I feel like all this person really wanted to do was play a little game with you. And you don't get to do that to a person's heart. You don't. Whether you're an earth angel or not. Okay, because I see you in earth angel energy here. Whether you're an earth angel or not, Cancer, it's wrong to do that to anyone, okay? Everyone deserves love and respect and consideration. You know, nobody is somebody else's toy. And that's what this person was trying to do. I feel very heavy that, um, and this is why they're stunned, right? I feel that the way they saw love was so effed up, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to say it. It was because you know what um the they wanted to, it's almost like the more a person hurts over them the more they prove that they love them that's how this person saw this okay um the more like if somebody chases after them and begs for them and cries over them that's they see that as a show of love and man, it should never feel that way. Nobody should ever be put through the kind of pain that you were put through, okay? This person had it all wrong. It was completely screwed up. Um, so yeah, it, it, here's the thing. You didn't play their game. You didn't, I mean, you hurt over them for a while. Of course you did. You loved this person. But, um, but you picked yourself back up because you... Um, You've always been a warrior, okay? Um, but yeah, you didn't chase. You didn't play their little game. You didn't, you didn't sit there and fall apart over them, okay? You worked on yourself. You started loving yourself. And you were divinely led to do it. And I feel like th through this process, you really, you really never really felt alone. You know, as soon as you were hurt, um, I feel like you went to the divine. Okay, Joan of Arc energy. As soon as you were hurt from this person, you prayed about it. Um, you maybe fell to your knees and yeah, you, you, had your, you had your fair share of crying yourself to sleep, Cancer, you did. But you bounced back really fast. And um, I feel like looking back on this, it may have seemed like a really long journey, Cancer, I gotta say. But man, when you think about it, you went through a lot really fast. Okay? And it's because you never gave up on yourself and you trusted the divine. You know, it, um, it was something you had to go through too so that you could finally get yourself out of a hole. I mean, for real, I feel like life just had you in a hole. Okay? Where you were struggling and getting hurt by people and it was like a vicious cycle right that that vicious cycle it's done and you have freed yourself because of the warrior that you are 
and because of the guidance that the divine has been giving you. They've been leading you the whole time. And now it's your person who's going to have the, the Ten of Swords and the, ten, uh, the Four of Swords, right? I feel like they're, look at this, I'm getting the chills. Look at all the swords they've got now, and they only have themselves to blame. That's a different kind of pain, okay? That's a whole different kind of pain. So this is going to force this, por this person, this person to look at themselves because clearly they've got a lot of work to do, okay? Clearly. But yeah, this is the shift laid right out on this table. And honestly, how else can I describe the shift to you? I mean, their shift is going to feel differently for them because they're going to be on their knees now. All right? With only, only able to blame themselves for this little game that they played. Okay? Uh, they did not get the results that they wanted. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, Cancer, your shift, I am telling you, look at, look, all this yellow, you're going to feel so strong. You're going to, this is strength, right? I can do it. Like, it's almost like you want to fist bump somebody like, yes, right? Um, yeah, you, a lot of, this is probably the strongest person in the deck is the emperor. Okay, no one can compete with an emperor. People don't usually argue with the emperor either. <laughs> you know, the emperor is standing his ground, um, not caving, making those executive decisions. Okay, um, but just I see it as strength. And uh, you're going to be able to move forward now quickly, like with nothing bothering you. Look at you. Look at the smile on your face. I'm telling you, all of this yellow, that's enthusiasm, happiness. Um, feeling good about yourself and where it is that you're going. And you may not know where you're going, you know, as you take this leap of faith. That's what the Fool card is. As you take this leap of faith, you don't know where you're going, Cancer. All you know is you've got a means to get there. Yep. Wherever the divine is leading you, they have hooked you up with everything that you, that you need, or they will. If you, if, this could be past, present, or future, okay? But I'm telling you, when you, when you, when this shift hits you, um, and it's just something that's going to feel like it just comes out of the blue. You could be anywhere, like, you know, going to a movie and you know what I mean? Um, you're going to, it's like, it washes over you. It cleanses you and it gives you that energy, that, um, that happiness, that excitement, right? You start feeling excited, like instantly. All of this is going to happen, like in the blink of an eye, Cancer. You're going to feel. You're going to go from wondering if this person is coming back in to really not giving a crap anymore, because <laughs> you're going to have so much to look forward to in your future, and you know that the divine is leading you someplace great. Okay. And you're going to be proud of yourself, right? Proud for everything that you've been through. This is a warrior queen. This is a warrior. This is a warrior. This is a warrior. Okay? So get ready for the... Honestly, there's... I, I can't even say that. There's no way to prepare yourself for the shift because you're not going to see it coming. But man, when, when it hits you, Cancer you're never going to feel the same way about the situation again. You're going to be happy for it. You're going to be glad that you went through it. There's a part of you, like I said, that's going to want to thank this person for the pain they gave you because it puts you on this beautiful, gut-wrenching, painful journey, okay, <laughs> to, uh, to your ultimate happiness and the strongest you've ever felt before. Okay, yes, Cancer. I flipping love it. But just know, just know as you leave this person behind, Cancer, you, literally, you're bringing down their tower, you're watching it burn, and they're going to have to stand here and watch it burn, knowing the whole time it was their fault. This was their own doing. It was. It was their own doing. And you're going to be leaving this person stunned, to deal with the pain of, of losing you and what they've done 
all on their own, all by their, themselves, just like they left you to handle the pain on your own, okay? So you're teaching this person a major lesson here. You really are. And I feel like, honestly, I'm going to say it, Cancer, I feel like because of that, everybody is going to win in this. Everyone's going to win in this, you know? Um, and I, honestly, I, I can, I'm glad. I'm glad your person's going to win too because they needed to look at themselves so they don't continue to hurt other people like this. They needed to learn um, really how people show love because making somebody hurt and dragging them through the dirt and torturing them to get them, you know, to get them to prove how much they love them, that's not the way. That's not the way. It's wrong. And they have to learn that lesson. So everybody's going to win. Okay? <laughs> I love you guys. You rock. You so rock, Cancer. Um, so, yeah, when you feel this shift, you guys, come back in and drop a comment. Okay? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And, um, and everything is happening the way it should here when it comes to this shift. All right? Anyway, my darlings, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates, Cancer. Just get ready for all the blessings that are coming to you, Cancer, because I'm telling you, especially with the chariot, they're coming in fast, and you're just going to feel it. You're going to feel it. Look, I got the chills again, you guys. Goosebumps. You're just going to feel it, Cancer. I love you. And um, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe and you want to join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.